Welcome back to my channel. We're starting off with brows using precisely my brow pencil by Benefit in shade 5. I'm just going to quickly fill these babies in. Nothing too crazy. Light strokes going towards the tail of the brow and then filling in the front. I always change up whether I do the front first or the back. Recently I've just been doing the back and then going towards the front and then just combing them through as I go. I'm using the 24 Brow Setter by Benefit as well and just combing these through and setting them. Doing a little throwback with some MAC Studio Finish Concealer. I'm using NC25 and I'm just going to highlight the brow bone with this brush love brush that doesn't exist anymore but there is a brush that I will place below. I believe it's an E15 by Sigma. It's super, super similar. I'm using the P. Louise base and just priming my eyes really quick. Love this stiff. And then I'm going to use the Pretty Rich Palette by Too Faced. I have not used the Too Faced palette in a minute, so they sent this to me, and I'm really excited to use it for you guys. I'm using It's Cashmere with a E40 from Sigma, and we're just going to blend that out using this as the transition color. We're really not going to use that many colors today. We're going to use Set the Jewel Tone, and I'm using just a flat brush from Coastal Sense, I believe, and I'm just putting this on the lid all over, kind of touching the crease slightly just so it blends really nice. I wanted to do a softer, smoky eye, so yeah, I feel like I've never really done that on here, like this at least, in this kind of style, so I just wanted to do something different, you know? I'm always doing the same things, I feel like, so why not change it up? going to use Diamond Life and I'm centering that in the center. I'm putting that in the center basically on the lid and I'm using a JH42 brush. This is from the Master Collection with Morphe. For mascara, I'm using my favorite right now, the Climax Mascara by NARS and I'm just going to fluff up these lashes. They make the lashes look so nice and defined. I am obsessed with it right now. For false lashes, I'm using Gigi Bell Lashes and Sugar. They are back in stock for anyone who has been looking for them. It always makes me laugh, like not good chills or anything, but it makes me laugh to see my face on the on a box. Like I just never thought that day would be a day. So it's just fun to see that and so that's why I did that little thing there. I don't know what I'm saying. Okay, moving on, I'm using Tatcha's The Silk Canvas Primer and I'm putting this all over my face. And I'm using Tarte's Lip Rescue, the Quench, just to kind of hydrate my lips because Jesus Christ have they been so dry. I'm just pressing the primer in and then I'm using the new Tarte Rainforest of the Sea foundation. They redid this formula and they fixed the dropper. They made it a little better. I am loving it. I am using the Tarte Rainforest of the Sea limited edition foundation brush which goes perfectly with it. It really blends in the foundation really really nicely so I am loving that. Um, I know that a lot of you want me to do the favorites of 2018. If you guys still want me to do that, I'm so open to it. So please comment below or thumb this video up if you guys still want to see that. So let me know. I'm using for concealer Tarte's Shape Tape. I mean, why not? It's a classic. I'm using medium and light medium honey to highlight the center and then the nose and the chin. And I'm using their Quickie Blending Sponge. It's a Tarte Day. And I'm just blending this all out. If you guys have been watching me for a long time, you know that I was obsessed with the original Quickie Blending Sponge. But I actually really, really love the new one. It's not so new anymore, but to me it's kind of new. So I'm just going to put some concealer on the under cheekbone area. And I'm just going to blend this out underneath the eyes, blend it out on the nose. And just put it in the creases where my smile lines are as well. I'm using the Charlotte Tilbury Cream Contour, the Magic Wand. I haven't used this on the channel. I've used it before, I think like maybe one, once or twice and I really liked it. I just forgot that I had it because I was basically going through my vanity and realized how much makeup I have that I need to play with. So I just went through that and I'm just going to use this to contour. It really, really blends super, super nice. I wasn't sure whether to blend it with a 
brush first, but then I actually went with a sponge, with a quick blending sponge. I thought it blended out way better than with the brush. I felt like the brush kind of rubbed it in too much where it wasn't even there anymore. So I'm just kind of bouncing the blender off my skin to blend the contour out. And it really gave me a really nice contour without being, you know, too orange or too gray. I'm going to set the under eye with Patrick's Powder by MAC with the Quickie Blending Sponge. Not doing too much crazy baking or anything like that. I'm just going to bake underneath just a teeny tiny bit. And then just kind of set the chin area as well. For bronzer, I'm using Too Faced Chocolate Soleil Bronzer. I'm using a Luxie brush. Not sure of the number, but everything will be down below, so don't worry. So I'm just bronzing this face up. I love this bronzer. I've loved this bronzer for years, honestly. It's been my favorite for at least, like, I would say seven years. This is the one that I always grabbed. It was either this or a Hoola. Now I'm using the L'Oreal Paradise Peach Blush in Bashful. I've been so obsessed with this blush. For the lash line, I'm using It's Cashmere, and I'm putting that on with an E20 and just putting that underneath there. And then using Oh That's Rich and kind of going closer to the lash line and then slightly smoking it out. I thought this was a really pretty combo. Going to put some more mascara on the lower lashes. And then I'm using Diamond Life again and I'm putting it in the inner corner. I really used all of these shadows dry so I wanted to see what it would look like wet and it's just like a little bit more pigmented. Honestly the pigment in this palette is really beautiful. I love that I actually didn't have to wet it and it came out beautiful so I was really really happy with that. And after wiping away some powder I'm going to use the Kylie Cosmetics Snow Angel Highlighter. I've been so obsessed with this formula. I know she's coming out with the new ones. I hope that they are the same as this formula because this formula is bomb. It glides on the skin like a dream and I'm just obsessed with it. Using the KKW Beauty Nude One Lip Liner and just lining out my lips. I love these liners. These liners and the Kylie Cosmetic liners are probably the my top liners. My top favorite liners, definitely. I'm using the KKW Beauty Nude 1 to go along with it. I did a dark lip at first and then I was just not feeling it, so I feel like I wanted to do a more nude lip. I feel like I haven't done a nude lip in a while, so why not? Like a nude nude lip, you know what I mean? Not like a neutral lip, because I always do those, but a nude nude. Setting the face with Tatcha's Dewy Mist Spray, a favorite of mine right now because, again, skin's dry. But anyways, that's the video, you guys. I hope you have enjoyed it. If you have, don't forget to thumbs the video up. Subscribe if you haven't already. Put on those post notifications so you see every time I upload. Write down below what you guys want to see next. If you have any suggestions, always open to seeing those and getting some inspiration from you guys. I love you guys so much, and I will see you in my next video. Bye, guys.